Hello guys, welcome to Zeratomath's channel. I'm Seer Truths, and the one I'm actually playing is Zeratomath. We playing some Tic Tac Tar Top. <gasps> so this right here is the room page we use. It's unfortunately not exactly optimal. Um, I'm not. I actually don't know if we had revitalize or overgrowth. It's hard to say. Um, but so basically, this is what, so we got press the attack. Because, so Tarek's passive is he casts a spell and then he auto attacks twice really rapidly. And a part of that with his Q is that every time one of those auto attacks lands, it gives him a charge of his Q, which means he's non stop auto attacking. All the time. Because you're like, I'm gonna, uh, let's just say you throw your shield on yourself, hit them twice, then you can heal, hit them twice, heal, hit them twice, heal. It's ridiculous. Just absolutely. So you gotta press the attack without issue on Tarek. Also, it acts as an auto reset. So, like, literally all of your abilities are an auto reset for then two auto attacks. So, you get three auto attacks in without any issue whatsoever. And, and he hits like a truck to begin with. Okay. Triumph. Because, well, to be honest, it's the best out of the two for Tarek, specifically. Three. Get best out of the three, sorry. You're right. Um, getting the heals after you get a kill means it's easy and additional gold means one, you can get to your um, Sheen. A little earlier if you get an early kill especially or other items getting yourself tankier and the healing it's 12% of your missing health which means it scales with the amount of health you have and that saved my ass so many times <laughs> you could if you really wanted to go for presence of mind but to be honest you're more of a you're not so pokey as you are just full out engage because this is called press the attack not hit them a couple times and run away like a little pussy yeah, so, exactly. We go presence. We're not going presence of mind and overheal. And I mean, you do heal a lot, but keeping yourself topped up, I think, is better than having that little bit of a shield anyway. And also, usually, not really keeping yourself topped up. You're keeping yourself at half, fifty percent health. Yeah. Because like they bursted you down to fifty percent, and then they can't finish you off, and it pisses them off. <clears throat> now, Although, another thing, like I would. Like, I can say to go Presence of Mind, because, like, if you're in the middle of a fight and then you level up, you don't have to worry about your mana. Like, one thing with Tarek is he uses a ton of mana uh, just from trying to fight, because you're, like, your Q at level 1 costs 70 mana, and that's the build you're spamming. goes up by 10 mana per level. So, you know, at level 2, which is what we leave it at, because, you know, only really getting two charges of it anyway, it's 80 mana every use. So then you're, like... Auto attack, heal, auto attack, heal, auto attack. You go through your mana really fast. This will stop that from happening if you level up during the fight. Another thing I like to do is use it against turrets. Do that whole just keep hitting them and then healing yourself against turrets. Which, again, level up while trying to fight a turret, you don't have to worry about running out of mana while doing that. Which would be really nice, but Triumph has saved me so many times. For your legend, it's best to go legend tenacity. Uh, because, well, you run at them. That's your main yeah. way of getting at them. Like, you're either going to flash or just casually walk at them to hit them. So, you know, want some tenacity. Also, Bloodline. you're not doing a lot of damage, like, just with your physical auto attacks. It's mostly out of your passive and your abilities, which scale on armor and do magic damage. So, lifesteal won't help you. And attack speed doesn't help because you attack really fast anyway. You already attack as fast as you can, basically. So not really any reason to get the attack speed. So I could understand tenacity. going down one. Uh, I could understand uh, going one more over. Cut down? No, no. I said oh, one last stand. Last stand. I couldn't remember what it was called. Oh. Uh, because you can alt, and then while you're alted, you're usually pretty low at about that point. So doing increased damage could really be helpful. Also, it can be arguably easy to keep yourself at that level because it's like they hit you, you heal. And you just kind of keep yourself just and barely forth. alive. So it wouldn't be terrible to do. Like, it's an understandable thing to try to go for, for sure. But, but it's really surprising when you, like, one-shot somebody when they still have 100 or 200 health left. And you're just like, and poof, dead. Yeah. So we go Coupe de Gras because it's 
kind of more consistently the best thing, like a good thing to go for here. On to the second tree. And cut down's useless because you're a tank. You had 4,000 health at the end of the last one? Yeah, so no one's going to be having 2,000 more health than me. I'm now, just for your next tree, we go resolve because, while well, you're a tank. Conditioning yep. can be good, but iron skin for Tarek is just better. We went conditioning not thinking. Because heal affects from uh, from consumables, heals yeah for at least twenty health and shields, all will increase your armor by five percent for three seconds. You just stack armor. You have a lot of shielding yourself, and then we think revitalize because it says sh heals and shields you cast or receive. So you're casting them on you and receiving them. So it yeah. makes sense that they'd be five percent stronger. Uh, and increase by an additional 10% on targets below 40% health. So this would probably, these two, would probably be your best bet. Though going uh, demolish an would, iron skin would also be terrifying because you can take turrets so quickly between your Iceborne Gauntlet and Billion Armor. But those are kind of your <laughs> options. Like, that's about yeah. it. Or, well, I mean, it's conditioning because it's... Honestly, I actually think about conditioning isn't really any worse than iron skin, because both of them will. So conditioning will gives you gives you an extra three base armor, plus also extra magic resist, and then still the iron skin's only a five percent bonus every heal. So it's kind of I guess depending on where you want to go. If you're trying to get a kill before that, uh, what ten minute mark, then probably iron skin would be for you. If you're up against somebody like GP, iron skin is definitely your best bet. Which is what we were up against in this game. So, yeah. So I guess it's kind of between Iron Skin and Conditioning. Really depends on, uh, I guess, the matchup there. Now, if you want to go full out damage, <clears throat> go Domination. It's your best idea. Get Sudden Impact and Ravenous Hunter. <laughs> go Cheap Shot and Eyeball Collection because you have stuns and you'll have slows once you get yep. Gauntlet. So you're gonna, yeah. And then eyeball collection because obvious. You're gonna get at least ten kills per so round. So those two could work pretty well, but I recommend resolve going this. Or if you really want to, you we could be going like sorcery, you can get like transcendence and just stack up your CDR, get mana flow band ultimate hat would be good too. So it's always invulnerable? Really depends on what you're going for there, because yeah, like you said, ultimate hat you'll be like always invulnerable, but then with mana flow band you'll be able to just spam your spells more effectively like what we were saying with presence of mind so that's our uh, take on how you would play this uh, tic tac tar top tic tac tar top so we'll see you guys in game where we played tic tac tar top in the past in the past from now and from when you're watching because that's how time works fun fact <laughs> it's gonna be the new fun fact in the description. <laughs> Something about time. Something about time. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Hello, guys. Welcome to In Game, where we play some press the attack Tark Top. That's a lot of t sounds. Tack. Tarek. Alliteration. Tark. It's OP. That's what we're calling it from now on. Tack Tark Top. Yep. Tick Tack Tark Top. Tick Tack Tark Top. <laughs> Uh, oh my lord, okay. We're Just bad. Shoot me. This, Just is, shoot me. this is gonna be the title, and everybody's gonna think it's like, well, yeah, of course, it's the title, but we didn't think of that until right now, okay, guys? You're literally hearing our title ideas as we come up with them. Yeah, what that guy said. So we're up against the GP. Uh, this should be not too bad. I'll just uh, stack armor and win game because they won't hurt me except Azir. So I guess I'll have to grab an Abyssal Mask or a Spirit Visage. Probably not a Spirit Visage, because I don't have Transcendence. And mm. my build's also going to consist of a Frozen uh, Heart and an Iceborne Gauntlet, which will put me max CDR. I suppose I should point that part out. Yes. Um, now, unfortunately, we we didn't pick the build. We didn't change the build before we got in the game properly. So the build we're running right now is probably the least optimal build. Because I don't have iron skin. That's uh, that's basically why. You need you need iron skin, okay? Every time you heal and shield yourself with iron skin, you increase your armor by a percent. 
and your Tarek, you do more damage. Well, first of all, you're healing and shielding yourself all the goddamn time. Because every time you hit your passive on someone, you're, uh, you get two stacks on your heal, assuming it's at least level two. Which means you can use it constantly, like you're on Earth. And it's scary. And then also you do damage based on your uh, armors. So that'd be just absolutely horrifying to have more of that all the ways. Now you got uh, your heals, so you can fight him. He's... There we go. Nice little uh, <laughs> trade there. Wowzers. Yeah, the whatever. damage even surprises me still. If he comes close, stun him and kill him. Like, so that really him. sucks. I got minion um, blocks. Might as well use a pot. Oh, J4 is here. Interesting. What the hell? My E didn't go off. There we go. Okay, he's stunned. Ah, uh, if you flash that, you should have queued. So would have died. Yeah, but you would have stayed long enough to potentially get no. the first blood on Yi instead of you. Uh, but no. Anyway. You should have, one, flash the uh, flag and drag. I didn't see it, so I can't flash it if I can't see it. How'd you not see the flag I'm blind! Down? And then you should have, two, uh, healed. I disagree. I don't, the heal isn't that big. It's like freaking, look, it's 30. Yeah, but wow. it could have potentially kept you just live you long enough. You only for 38. Yeah, it's useful. Didn't screw you. Tell me what I should and should not and do. And you should have stunned GP a lot earlier. Like, when you stunned the cannon minion. <laughs> I try to, okay? Minions are assholes, though. Tarek should get uh, the ability to move through units when he has a stun up. Just saying. Is there an item that can make me move through units anymore? Uh, no Phantom, Phantom Dancer. Dan no, it used to. It doesn't anymore. Uh, it's not much of a Phantom Dancer. It's just an item. Just an item. Oh, I mean, like, before its name worked because you, like, went all Phantom because you could move through units. And, and you're dancing through units. Yeah. So, like, it was a legitimate name before. Now it's just... Please stop. Item. Man, That's the only name it has. Gold now. And I can't even... Kill things. Yeah. Oh. Kinda hurt. Should should turn and hit him. Shield it and hit him. Not wrong. Like if he's gonna get close enough for you to basic attack him, just do it. God damn, he's really pokey. Holy crap. Yes, Gangplank is very pokey. Uh, oh well. Just let him push. I guess. Yeah, he doesn't really have much of a choice due to... Why am uh, I trying to kill my own <laughs> This isn't Dota. J4 has a stopwatch. It's important in for shield. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Shield costs too much mana. Costs less than heal. Yeah, so... Too much. Less than heal is too much. So, what's your plan here? i uh, pretty much just gonna wait till I get a um, Sheen and then I'll be able to fight him. Makes sense. <laughs> GP's just really gosh darn abusive. Yep. That is very true. He took your ward. Yeah, I know. I got it, nothing is gonna be so abused. And his Q's an auto attack. If you actually got iron aggro. skin, you wouldn't be as abused. That's not wrong. Well, actually, it kind of is. It gives you armor earlier, which is... Oh, that's, I guess, true. Oh man, this teleport, is annoying. So it's not that big of a deal. What? So we still have teleport, so not big of a deal. True. 
I'll have to TP to lane on like uh, GP dude. Oh damn it. I don't know how he's only level 5 and you are level. Oh, he's level 6 now. The minute I say anything. I really like the look of uh, that GP skin. Yeah. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's a really great GP skin. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ugh. Um. Hi, bye. Okay. If you actually turned on him, maybe you could have killed him. Maybe, but I had to turn on him with my stun, and then he'd just walk away. He'd just, uh. Yeah. Eat an orange and walk away. That's true, he has more mana than you. You don't even have enough forever. Your full combo. Just a full combo of spells. Scion ults. And died. He died as he ulted. Oh, there he oh. is. Mostly drawing the cannon. Damn it. It looks like you're just trying to stun him. In reality, you're just trying to kill a cannon. Yeah. Well, I just figured if I get him too, that'd be handy. It sucks. Okay, back. Okay. Back TP up. Hope he doesn't stop my back. Kind of a bit too forward, but. Bye. Okay. Get a sheen. Uh, boots. boots and head back and fight him. Push super hard because there's no way he's not backing. Nice. <clears throat> Flawless. Ward. Now, based off of our experience with Tarek top lane, at this point in the lane, uh, you should be fine. Especially yeah. if you had the right runes. Um, but even with these runes, th this should still work. At the 10 minute mark, he'll be a lot tankier. J4 is mid. If I could uh, CS, that'd be pretty freaking handy too. <clears throat> nice. That was sucked. Should be. There he is. Cool. Oh. Now uh, hide in the bush. See if you can catch him off guard. That's not the right bush. No way it's not warded. I'm gonna go right on ahead and say, and that was a win. That was a win. If you can run up to him without using your stun. It's kind of hard when it goes super fast like that. Holy Jesus. Oh, god damn, he hurts. He also okay. has a machine. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ult. Yeah, he's gone. That really sucks. Now you have to get out of there. Yeah, there we go, there you we go. You were saying? <laughs> oh. like, that, did he already orange? Like, he had to for a I think he orange into my first one, just late. There we go. That ult didn't work. He was smart about uh, the Tarek ult and just got out of there. But then he underestimated the rest of Tarek's damage. And allowed me to uh, kind of just Get stomp his face in. I'm gonna probably get this. That's a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> that will reduce his Q damage by how much? Uh, ten percent, not including armor. That's, it does it reduces ten percent damage on auto attacks. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's really good if you're up against auto attack reliant people, like ADCs and Gang GP. <laughs> If you don't know, Gangplank's Q counts as an auto attack. Like Ezreal's Q. And uh, so does his barrels. <coughs> really? They do too? I'm about 80% sure on that one. I didn't think they did. Uh, I he, just thought they did the He can proc Sheen off of it, so. So the way that works is it the, his barrels do damage based on uh, how much damage his Q or auto attack or whatever does to them. Huh. Which means, because he has Sheen, if he has the Sheen and he procs it on the barrel, 
it does that damage too. So his barrels don't count as an attack. My bad. I don't, I don't Which means you can't get Kleptomancy off of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he could still Q for Kleptomancy. Yeah. You got it. Can't really beat a melee champion to your barrel like that. Not when they're right next to it. Really? Okay. Why do you ward there? Oh, it was Kleptomancy. That makes sense. Oh, oh wow. wow. You almost have ult. Oh really my god. Those. Yeah, the problem is I have to put the shield on me. Or on your face at the bottom. That's still a problem. Not if you're running away because you're I'm not used to having to do that. Damn, he hurts though. Sure does. Holy balls. Oh. Will I last long enough? I sure will. Oh, yeah. Triumph, you're amazing. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. What? Oh no. Um. <laughs> Did you see that slide? That looked really, really weird. Sure. Okay. Did that happen? That sure yeah. did. Get both of those and then a frozen heart. Now, are you sure about frozen heart? See so what he's building. Not really anything yet. Um, like well, let's look at their team. Draven's gonna be critting a lot. Maybe Randuin's would be better. Yeah, I think Randuin's would probably be a better option. Under which case, I can get Spirit Visage, no problem. Why? Palm of Four was max CDR from Frozen Heart plus Iceborne. Oh. And now they don't have that. Spirit Visage will be still fully effective. Okay, okay. Thinker. Oh. You have TP. Um, I have nothing to TP to. Yeah, he's got no wards. Yeah, he, he, so. he played himself there, son. If he gets a kill, good on him. If he gets out, he's almost out. He's out. Just take it. You don't have alt, which means you can't turret dive. Yeah. One nice thing about Tarek is alt means that if your jungler comes top lane, you guys can turret dive. Like, there's no reason you can't. Now, he's playing super careful because you kicked his ass so many times. Now, twice killed him. Both just barely, but still. Also, both times I was poked out of my mind. Damn. That actually hit me. I didn't think it would. J4 is bottom ish. Oh, wrong button. Definitely thought I was gonna stun him before he could uh Get out of the You're so dead. Oh! Oh! That's amazing. Good job, buddy. And push hard. J4 is still kind of in the bottom area. Let's see if you guys can get first turret. Probably because Tarek is a turret pusher and a half. <laughs> nice. 2 2 and 1. How'd I die the second time? J4. Ray! The like gliding J4. Right, 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 right. I remember. Yeah. That was a really good J4 gank, I'm gonna be honest. That was a really good J4 gank. So I'm gonna get this, reduce his attack speed when he inevitably whacks me. Uh, it'll at minimum screw up his uh, CSing. Because he cues me a lot, right? So he's gonna cue me, and then that'll reduce his attack speed, which might screw up his CSing because he's attacking slower than he thinks he should be. I really, really like Gangplank's ult, but uh, your ult just is outdoing his. He's one in four, that poor guy. 
Yeah. I don't know where he is. And just stay top lane. One thing Tark is good at is actually uh, 2v1ing or 1v2ing. Really good at 2v1ing. Holy crap, is he good <laughs> at that? But he's still pretty good at uh, 1v2ing because of his ult. Tark's kind of a juggernaut. And juggernauts in general are just good at 2v1ing or 1v2ing. However, you want to call kind it. Kind of both! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty no. much everybody's it seems like exactly bottom lane, applying pressure, but, but yeah, they're all, all in. The, way. the enemy team's applying so much pressure, it doesn't matter. They're like so up there. Oh my gosh, you're two levels above him. Uh, J4 is coming your way. J4 is coming top now. Okay, probably shouldn't try and fight them both. No, not with J4 alt. No, not with J4 being fed. J4 is pretty good at about countering Juggernaut. Oh, oh my god. Alt. So yeah, that happened. I am surprised I didn't hit that actually. Well, maybe I did hit it, that was the problem. <laughs> there we go, that's how it's done. Did Brand even get an assist on that? I think probably. Yeah, it's hard to say, uh, because we didn't actually look at the side thing that showed the whole death. I'll just whack this a little bit. I don't want to use too much mana on it, because, well, you don't know, no one mana. Oh! Oh! Oh, I can't get through there. Oh, Damn. Blade Sun! You were outplayed hard oh, there. Oh, he just didn't die. Damn. Oh, I don't know. That Q was interesting. Or his, not the Q, his orange eating. It's his W. Yeah. As you hit him, he ate it. Suck. Totally thought I got him with that stun. So that, you know, he eats the other stun and then he gets to hit, be hit by mine. But nope. Nope. He, uh, he outdid us a little bit. Oh well. And then that Azir though. We would have been fine if it wasn't for Azir. Yeah, Azir outplayed you guys there. I like that Azir skin. That's yeah, a nice one. To be honest, it's his only nice one. But, uh, How many nice skins one? does he have? I'm pretty sure only two. So yeah. He's got like Galactic Azir that goes well with like Galactic Nasus and Galactic Rennington. Yeah. But, his uh, like first skin. But it still it sucks. Weird. Definitely not a good skin. No, no, he he has four because he has uh, Jade Emperor. He's really trying to make my armor less useful. I can see. Why? He's got Black Cleaver. He's got Yomus. Ah. Uh, like lethality. Lethality is not good against armor. I mean, it makes it so armor's less useful. It's not. It, armor. it works like armor pen. No, it doesn't. At least, yeah, it does. No. It's not a hundred percent the same. It's not armor pen. Part it goes. Part of it goes into being just armor pen. Well, that's, that's what, what I, I thought. thought. I'm gonna be completely honest. Lethality has been one of the most confusing stats since it came out to me. Um, so you might be right, but I'm gonna look it up. That is a very good point, Mr. Tarek. Except for those times when it hurts. Yeah. Totally could have turret type that, I had all you, but it's okay you decide not to, Mr. Yi. Do have all. Ah, uh, you're just done. I 
I'm oh his ears not coming up. I was get kind close. of thinking he was gonna, but what's gonna close. happen? I won't do it. Oh, he's, too risky. he's pretty close. Oh, oh, oh like fifty hell. Oh man. So it's armor penetration based off of level. So yeah, it's armor pen. Why not? It's just less. It's just uh, that way it won't be as useful when you're behind. So like it's only super useful if you manage to get yourself ahead. It's really weird. I think that might be why they did it, but I can't be entirely certain on that one. It's a weird stat, anyway. Glad we can all agree on that. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep pushing top because we just saw that I am in fact capable of 2v1 ing. Even though J4 is fed, I still almost killed both him and GP. Granted, they were focused on Yi for a fairly large portion of that, but they still didn't really get me all that close to dead. So I'm pretty confident I'll still be able to do it. Yeah, I agree. You're, uh, you know, 3-3. Three, three. You do have Flash here. He is orange. Um. Uh, he isn't in lane and he, he saw you and he's like nope 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 and your team's applying a lot of pressure so you can keep split pushing that's again one of the big things about being a split pusher is knowing when and when not to be pushing oh GP is not in lane guess I'll just push rather hard then there's if no dragon for them to get out of this team fight, but we're pushing two turrets right now because Yi's also split pushing. They're not really getting any anything out of their team fight right now, but we definitely are. GP is coming your way through here. That's fine. Yeah, he, he went through the little gate, but... Uh... He oranged. Get a zero if you can, or whatever. Just you hurt. You never <laughs> All I team. could do was fight. It was, yeah, that's true. I should have used this against um, GP. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. That way, I wouldn't have had to flash on him. Yeah, exactly. So misplay play on my part, but. That's okay, I distracted overall three because I killed uh, one and then distracted two. My team still got a turret out of it, which is nice. Like, my death for a turret. And now they can set up for dragon really easily. Yeah. Because yeah. they just had to push out top. So, what my death led to a turret and dragon. Worth. Split pushing is a really easy way to win games at low levels, but only if you know how to do it. A lot of people try to split push when their team doesn't have any pressure, and then they get four manned and die. And yeah. wonder what's going on. To split push, it's really simple. Look at the minimap. Do you see the enemy team? Yes, you can split push. No, don't split push. Or alternatively, even if you don't see the enemy team, if you see like... For example, let's say, you know, I want to go top and I see my team is bot pushing a tower. Okay, I don't see the enemies, but if I keep pushing top lane too, right, now we're pressuring two lanes and they have to choose. Yeah, and so you might get two people up here, but your bottom lane might only have to fight three, uh, which would be handy. And so it's one of those things... If which you, would be a winnable fight. Pressure is the point of split push. If you don't look at the minimap, don't be a split pusher, for goodness sake. Yeah. It's not going to go over terribly well for you. So I'm going to actually teleport down here. Oh, no, my team's fine. They're holding up just fine. So I'll actually keep going. Guys, but, uh, Two. Holy uh, crap, I thought yeah. they were fine. Yeah, you might need to teleport. I don't think teleporting going to do me anything. I'm just going to back so I can help defend that second turret. Yeah, that first one is gone. And continuing to pressure will just lead to me dying. Uh, they'll, like, take that turret... Then go top and kill me. It would pretty much what would be happening. Mm. That's, That's still gone. That wow, a very gone turret. Yeah, 
jeepers. My team lost that fight hard. And that's a way of, uh, if you notice that they have someone who's constantly split pushing, that's a way of countering it. Force the 5v4. They're up, Baron. I didn't mean to do it that way. You have alt. And only Janna. But. Oh, there's only three of them, though. Oh, okay, now there's four. It's okay, because you do damage. You should have teed. T, what are you doing? I'm teeing. Oh, does it just take time to come out? No. <laughs> Seven to four. It. Man, that team fight really went well before us. Yeah, being able to do ult means that even Yana, who's really squishy, just isn't gonna die, right? So you guys just go in, you kill two of their lower health, uh, high damaging targets, and then it's yeah, fine. I dropped GP so fast in that. Meanwhile, they just couldn't hurt me. And then, like, they had people running after Yana, but they couldn't hurt Yana either. What they should have probably tried was peeling me off, because everyone's so tanky they can't be hurt during my ulti, but also, like, I'm still dishing out a lot of damage. Yeah. I thought that was too close to the turret. Why? Oh, the ward? ward? Yeah. yeah. I figured it probably was, too. I didn't really care. Got that stun off from Yana. Throw that out. Mm, that that sucks. Hurts. Your whole team wasn't um, really. Uh, neither was theirs. Why is. Why is he losing? Wait a minute. Oh, that's an AD Scion? Let's. Like, look at his build. He's got Yomu's and he's got a Dirk. He's also got Face of the Mountain. I'm very confused. We should be able to, if we can hold out, win ultimately because of that, to be honest. You are indeed a tank. I thought you were going to go Spirit Visage. <clears throat> I still want Abyssal Mask instead. Like, Abyssal Mask first. It's just then maybe I'll get Spirit Visage. I was saying Spirit Visage wouldn't be entirely inefficient. But Abyssal Mask I still think is better because of the 10% increase magic damage. I'm going to argue Dead Man Plate is your next buy. That's not a bad one. I was wondering what I should get next. Ooh, 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 but uh, with the Abyssal, that, those two combo really well. Oh, point taken. I'm gonna not go there, because he's going, and so is Kate. But if I could go top. Should have already done that. It's kind of not paying enough attention there. Oh, well. Not really sure what you're doing, not being very yeah. concise. Oh. Oops. What the hell? Did I click on the map or something? Or I guess I'm trying to turn around. Kind of click all over. You were clicking all over the place. Watching your mouse, you were not uh, not mousing very well there. I mouse perfect always. <clears throat> See how I clicked in that? <laughs> mousing perfect always. <laughs> I think you should wait for your group. Ah, they're coming close. As for assistance, a team fight goes in your favor because you are, after all, a team fighter. Yeah, like that's your true. split push only works because you're. F oh, I wouldn't uh, be doing fight inside what you're of doing. that. Yeah. Ayana, uh, maybe not your best decisions. I mean, she went flash, flash, get out. No, I'm fine. Yana went so far ahead for no reason. Uh, he actually got, like, caught pretty well, but I don't know what Yana was doing. She went ahead of me. Yeah, he clicked on the turret. Goddamn. Well. Get out of there. I won't be able yeah. to. However, giving her another kill is good. Feed the ADC! Feed yeah, the exactly. ADC! <clears throat> you shouldn't be able to get it. You, uh, you can get that now. Nice! Okay. <clears throat> so, last buy? Spirit Visage, maybe? 
increase your self heals. Yeah. Now that team fight was messy, but you guys did pretty well in it. <clears throat> Arguably. If Yana just didn't get caught out hard, we all died in it. We only got a few of them. I think mean, we got three for four. Is what happened. But for Yana um, getting caught out hard, you guys came back. If you think of Yana not just being there, it was a three v three, right? That's true. It was at least okay, but I don't know why Yana went ahead of me like that. It was really silly. She was not paying enough attention. Bolt it to your team. Bolt it. Uh, or float. Okay, that works too. <laughs> We do not have the same turret advantage we once had, I think. I'm assuming we at one point had a turret advantage. <laughs> yeah, if you guys group, you should be able to win with your ability to... Oh, that's an alt down. That's a really nice alt down. Okay, there we go. Just stay <laughs> with uh, Caitlyn and make her stay alive for this. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much your job right now. You and Yana, entire job, keep them alive. Keep Caitlyn alive. So I'm putting my W on Yi so that he can more easily engage. <clears throat> it's kind of my thinking there. Because I don't engage. Like, without Flash, I can't do it at all. Right? But he has his Q. So he can jump in and I can get stuns in and stuff. Oh, uh, no. Huh. All okay. right. Up, I guess. Ouch, holy crap. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, what are we gonna do? If you can get a good catch on them. <clears throat> hmm. Pretty much you have to wait until your team. Your team's pretty split right now, which is not good. Not at all. Why are we so split? We just need to be mid. Brand. Okay, go group up with them. Oh, let's kill GB there. No, no, why is she backing? Thank you. <laughs> oh my lordy. Okay, okay. That's a turret. That's a turret. That's a, not a turret anymore. What was it even attacking? I don't know. Minions probably. Oh, they killed all the minions. That was a terrible uh, brand Q. That was. It was so freaking bad. Uh -oh. You have alt. Oh. Okay, so we got a kill. There's one. There's two. I'm still tanking turret, which is good. Oh, wow, did you tank turret there? I tanked everything. <laughs> Only person to die? Yana. And so it was a four for one. That's absolutely amazing. Now take I'm this inhibitor. So I can keep healing them. Oh, wow. Just try and heal him up. That's all of them. That's an ace. And get out of here. All right. Woo. Jesus Christ. That was great. Good team fight. Oh, uh, final. That's all we needed this whole time. My team's just like, I want to go somewhere else now. Like, please stop. Just please stop. I could see Knight's Vow being really good. <clears throat> I want to take less damage from what's his name, though. Okay, take less damage right. for what's his name then? What's Knight's Vow do? Give me armor, cooldown reduction. Heals you uh, when Caitlyn attacks, and you give. Or whoever you're marked on. Yeah, which could be Yi. Which could be Yi. Probably and give it to Yi because he keeps jumping in. So, sure, I'll go for a Knight's Vow. Give it to Yi. Probably. <laughs> yeah, he's, always, he's so a ham. But, like, I need him to be as well, so. I want him to be hammier more here. You're still doing well, eight six seven. I wouldn't be there. I'm gonna go around. <clears throat> I think. 
did not look like my guy wanted to go to top. Go top with your team. Just tell everybody I to mean, go top. Okay. I don't know why Yana's backing. So is Kate, Craig. Oh. Gosh darn it. I know, eh? If only you actually hit him with a shield or something. Your team really needs to group and just push top. That's it. That's all they need to do right now. Scions ending. Why? Oh, he killed the turret. Holy crap. Oh. I guess that's why? You guys really do need to push pot. Or not bot, top. Oh my god. You can flash, yeah. Alt. I don't think I need to. Uh, it's hard to say. That Scion is putting going in so much work. Holy crap. Now I would. Yeah. Oh my god. When Caitlyn backed, you probably should have left too. I don't disagree, yeah. Your team just needs to do something together. <clears throat> We can do this. This is winnable. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, now you just need to defend. Oi. Okay, give it to somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on her for now, because he is currently dead. So I'll stick near Kate. If I can keep her alive in a fight, then, well, we should be able to win the fight. Although, we don't want to fight them while they have Elder. It's pretty much right thing. now, your job and Yana's job is to Caitlyn. You do have all. Oh, you do have all. We need to not get caught out like this. Yana does seven times in a row. Jesus. At least they don't actually hurt you that much. All of them pile damage into you and you're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Jesus Christ. Let's see what we can do there. Yana being dead, like, come on, Yana. I know, this is so bad. Yana just keeps getting, at least their support is as well. Alt, alt, alt. Yeah, it works. The minute they came out of GA, they were ulted. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is so good. They were I did not think it was going to work. That friggin' cross stun. They both <laughs> pop. Both their GAs got popped, but it didn't matter because you're like, yeah, now you're coming out of it completely invulnerable. 
Which is part of the reason you guys won that fight. It was just, what were they going to do to solve it? So good that's how it works, though. Like, that makes me so happy. And keep pushing. They're dead for another 30 seconds. Stop. Okay, they want Baron. Fine. Screw it. Yeah, I'm trying. They kind of are CC machines. Like, I don't know why you guys back. Why are they split? That's even worse. Okay, if they all wanted Baron, that's one thing. Christ. But they should have... Instead, you die for Baron, which now the enemies can get. If but we all... could have just ended. There was only two of them, and all of us. Uh... Oh my lordy. Okay, this is still winnable. If they just stayed together, even if they went for Baron, like, okay, that sucks that you had a different idea than them. But if all and of them. And then got went... CC to the point where there was no way of getting away. But if all of them went for Baron, that would have been a good free Baron. Instead, two of them went for a turret bottom lane that they didn't need to go for. Holy damage out of that, though, eh? Mm -hmm. Creepers, creepers. And remember, you're tank, right? Like, this is... <laughs> only gotten... Only have 31 armor out of that? Really? Increases okay, my armor magic is by percentage. Uh, 400 armor. Friggin' useful. <laughs> Some people. This got a butt-ton of tenacity. Oh, Ward, please run over. Ward Baron. Well, hello there. Get J4? I don't know. I don't know what he's in. Oh, what? I'm not Ward Baron. You warded a wall. That's literally the only thing that Ward landed on. Yeah, that was weird. Teleport, teleport. Oh no, don't teleport, don't teleport. Too late! Just screw you, Draven. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight you, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting in my all for this, bud. Stop typing, guys. Win a bowl game. Please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just, your team's not close enough. It's, it's not worth it anymore, my friend. Just go kill your own Nexus. Go kill your own Nexus. Ah. Uh. Here comes Scion, get ready to ult. Nope, Scion's top. You know how to teleport because you teleported with a Draven nearby. Just keep pushing. You do have ult. Don't, don't be that far up. I thought I could tank it. There's more of them alive than I thought. Ult. Space race, space race! Just spam all the abilities! Woo! Holy crap, that team was so heavy! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my lordy, I'm gonna give it to. Give it to Kate. Brand. I mean, she was saying to report Yi for a oh, okay. joke, uh, so I can't give it to Caitlyn, but Brand was very neutral. Yeah. I would give it to Yana, 
but like, I mean, she kept feeding. <laughs> then he said he was inting, and like, I could believe it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it to Brand. The guy who didn't do horrible. <laughs> he was 12 and 10. He was a. Oh, not the only other positive, but holy crap. Oh, now they want to report that Scion. I mean... Uh, like, he didn't couldn't do any. Because he already ulted by or top, wrong way. Because he already ulted top, and then we pushed out. I don't think there was a lot he could do there. He made a decision, and I think he is right to continue with it, to be honest. Hopefully, he could have gotten uh, your Nexus first, but he didn't. Yeah. Because Tarko P.O.P. Let's look at damage done. Oh. A lot. I did a lot of freaking damage. I mean, compared to Brand and Caitlyn, especially Brand, I didn't really do that much. But... You did more than their Draven. <clears throat> yeah, and I did more than J4. Just not done Gangplank or Azir. Still, that's a lot of freaking damage, especially considering the fact that I had like 400 armor and 4,000 health and 200 <laughs> magic resist. That's like, pretty unstoppable. <laughs> sure, I didn't exactly do a lot of damage, but also enabled a lot of damage because it pressed the attack. It just increases all damage, right? <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ! Self mitigate damage 120. 12,000. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> See y'all in the next one. Bye bye. Peace. Just watched a video that I myself had made with no help from Seer of Truth whatsoever. If you wish to see more of my content, on the right you'll find our most recent video. And if you wish to see something other than my most recent video, then go to the left and you'll see something else. Good times. Also, like and subscribe, as this year just whispered into my ear, all so strange-like. Bye bye